Uh, this was the little piece of news that I um <laughs> that I hinted at, at the beginning of the stream. This guy called Joseph F. Cox, working for a company called 404 Media, um, is investigating what was a leak of. It's not even. You can't really describe it as a leak. Basically, Discord has allowed um, independent developers to develop a uh, like all the internals of their um, like. There's very little functionality associated with Discord. So a lot of like the per channel like customized tweaked out discord stuff are these bots and these bots are given permissions when when you add them to your to your chat room so if you like want special functionality that only comes from a bot um, you can add the bot you give it permissions and then the bot gives you uh, uh, what what you want genuinely or generally you're expecting like just to get it for free or maybe you pay a little bit for the bot but obviously, when developers are developing shit, they don't do it for free. Either they want like support on Patreon, or they're gonna ask for a subscription. Um, some small bots might just be like a convenience thing. But uh, in the case of a developer, or several developers, or nobody really knows where this comes from, the bots that people have been installing on their servers, and they apparently are very popular bots, have just been re reading and archiving like everything sent on discord so now there are billions of messages that have been scraped by these bots that have privileged access to these discord chat rooms and now they're aggregated into a database and being sold for like pennies on a dollar so if you know somebody's discord handle you can look up their post history and like um even messages they've deleted across all their servers um not just the ones that they are publicly associated with and you can see basically anything that the bots have seen um, in, in these, these databases, uh, which is obviously a breach of, of privacy and trust. Now, it's worth mentioning that Discord is a subsidiary of Tencent, and Discord does this on its own. Discord sells your information, sells your chat messages, sells your private messages, because remember, a, a private message between one or a few people is functionally indistinct from how a regular chat room in Discord works. There is literally nothing um, different in terms of the technological backend or the level of encryption used, because there is no encryption, between a Discord chat room and a Discord chat room that's functioning as a private message between either you and one other person or you and a specific number of people. It is literally the exact same thing. It is stored and handled the exact same way in the Discord backend, and it's aggregated and sold as data to Tencent in exactly the same way. Um, so there, there is no privacy on Discord, and the fact that the, the, the issue that people are having is not that there's no privacy on Discord and their privacy is being breached. The issue is that it's being sold to the highest bidder um, for very, very cheap on, in public, and there's no illusion that there's any privacy. Uh, there was never any privacy, but people really seem to relish in the illusion that there was some privacy. Um, moreover, I guess they can't have specific individual people. Oh, I, I turned away just because I was ranting about Discord, but no, there's more to this. The guy that runs this, it's called Spy.Pet, I think is the database. The guy that runs this actually joined the Kiwi Farms, and he joined the Kiwi Farms. I may not be able to show this just because of my bandwidth, but um, because he wanted to post logs of um, of what's happening in these things called Boy Kisser. Um, the boy kisser is like a really shitty meme of like a little and it's like a fox and it's like a simple fox animation of like a fox kissing something and then it got captioned like i like kissing boys and he's blushing and this became like a homosexual meme on the internet and eventually it became like a subculture kind of like dog if dog was a homosexual pedophile um so the the boy kisser stuff became a subreddit just called our boy kisser and then that fragmented out such as our little boy kisser and then it became discord chat rooms um so that the prying eyes of adults and the general public would not uh ruin their intentions and their intentions are very blatantly because every single one of these boy kisser discord chat rooms have rules that explicitly say that they're a 13 plus server but obviously when you have something called the um, boy kisser room or the silly chat room or the Astolfo, which is like a femboy anime thing, um, which is also called Cunnyland. And of course, uh, Cunny is a 
um, euphemism used by pedophiles to refer to a child's vagina. And then you have the Femboy Freaks, which is also a Gay Haven 13 plus server. There is absolutely zero way that you can have chat rooms like this that do not serve as a way of meeting 13 year old boys to adult men. Probably younger than 13 because, you know, kids don't really pay attention to the signs. Um, and the whole point is to get them pink pilled, so that which is a euphemism for ex exposing a child, like a 13 year old boy, to pornography as early as possible, and then enticing them to uh, feminize and humiliate themselves by wearing dresses or feminine clothing and sending it to the pedophiles who run these chat rooms. And then, of course, the pedophiles use these pictures to extort boys into doing more things for them. Um, like how. I think the, it was like 764 or something. It was that uh, other online ex pedophile extortion thing. That's just how these work. And uh, the guy that used, that created that database, um, the, the spy pet thing, uh, posted a bunch of information about who are posting on these, how many messages they have, so on and so forth. Um, ostensibly good information tracking the actions and activity of pedophile discords. Uh, and nobody took issue with this except Joseph F. Cox of 404 Media. He took a great amount of issue with this and deliberately lied about what kind of information uh, and was being shared and who was being targeted. Um, the title of this ar article is just um, the big Discord leak has its connect has its origins with Kiwi Farms. So deliberately trying to create a link between Kiwi Farms and this dump, which does not exist. And then, um, this, this is how he worded this, by the way. On Kiwi Farm, an account called Spy Pet has uploaded multiple dumps of Discord messages from the Spy Pet service. In at least one of these threads, they have analyzed the posts of people posting in a queer community Discord. They described one dump as containing 916,000 messages. Another includes just over 220,000 messages. They have also uploaded pie charts. Pie charts! Which break down the percentage of messages on the servers written by specific users. Um, so in, he has eight posts. Almost all of them are in the boy kisser, our little boy kisser, uh, femboy grooming circle thread. And they're just breaking down the activity in these pedophile circles, which for whatever reason, Joseph F. Cox of 404 Media from the United Kingdom uh, tries to explain away as simply being a queer community. So a queer community ran, is, is, according to Joseph F. Cox, a Discord chat room where grown men try to convince little boys into taking HRT, wearing dresses, taking pictures of themselves wearing dresses, sending them pictures of themselves wearing dresses so that they can be exhorted into doing sexual acts. That's just a queer community. That's just like, well, you know, you got gay, bi, les, transgender, and then um, the femboy grooming extortion cults on Discord. That's just a, that's just a queer community. I, I mean, I agree, Joseph F. Cox of 404 Media from the United Kingdom. I totally agree. That's a good, fair assessment. That's basically just what they do. Um, it's a little bit weird that you would want to publish that in an article about these things because you would think that you would not want to associate the LGBTQIP plus so openly with pedophilia and grooming and stuff. But, I mean, if Joseph F. Cox of 404 Media from the United Kingdom wants to break that, break that ice and do that in the mainstream, I'm all for it. I'm all for it, buddy. Just I've never I've never seen this so brazen chat. Um, so I made fun of him. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.